today what we're going to talk about is rock tape and how to use it with your horse. It is one of the things that I really like to have in my rehab bag when I go somewhere because it really works for a lot of different things. You can use it on your horse, um, whether you have some swelling in your horse that you need to draw out. Uh, if you want to stabilize the pole, you can take the pole, uh, the stifle, the SI joints, suspensory ligaments. You can do a lot with rock tape. I prefer to use the rock tape that is designed for the water. So I think it's rock tape H2O. Uh, it sticks a little better for the horses. Uh, they used to have an equine line, but um, I can't find that anymore. So, um, so we just use the rock tape H2O and we'll show you a few different ways to use it. And um, it's something that you should keep in your tool bag uh, keeping your trailer with a pair of scissors because you never know when you can use it. Um, it's great, like if you get kicked and you have a bruise, I have put it on, uh, and like when I got kicked in the thigh, I put it on that and minimize the bruising, um, and it just helps stabilize the area, gives you some pain relief also, and so um, good stuff to have. We're going to show you how to tape the pole on a horse. Um, I have two inch here. I honestly feel like four inch rock tape works better. You can use two strips of two inch if you'd prefer, um, or if you just wanna use one strip of two inch, whatever. Um, but I'll show you how to use two strips of two inch. By the tape, I did loosen his halter a little bit so that um, it gives me a little more room to work. If they don't have a bridle path, that would probably also be helpful. This horse does have a bridle path, I am, or does not have a bridle path. Um, I'm not gonna shave a bridle path for him. Uh, break your tape in the middle, and then come on up to the pole, and put the center of it right over the mane, right in the middle. And again, you don't want to apply any stretch and you just come down like that and rub that as well. Okay, and then we'll do another strip. Again, if you had four inch rock tape, you wouldn't have to do two strips, um, but I only have two inch here, so we will do two strips of the two inch. And I think I put a little more tension on that than what I should have done, but. So this is these horses that have uh, a lot of tension in their pole, neck pain, not a lot of flexibility there, and you wanna reduce the muscle tension in the pole. This would be a great taping technique for them.